Well, I wish I would have watched this movie a little bit sooner because it definitely would have been included in my must-watch movies for 2018. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. So I just finished watching a movie called Life Changer. I did a uh, trailer review for this movie back in July and I was excited for it. And I kind of forgot about it a little bit just because it taken so long to, to get released, but it came out January 1st, video on demand. And I just watched it this morning and I'll tell you, wow, is it ever good. Like I, I wish, I wish I would have seen this movie even just like you know a couple days ago so I could have included it in my uh, in my must watch movies for 2018 because this movie definitely definitely would have made the list um, now I'm gonna keep this review kinda short okay I don't wanna go into spoilers so I'm gonna try not to ramble because there's a lot we can talk about this movie in fact I might even do a second video on it uh, the spoilers and, and uh, or spoilers and discussion because um, it is it is that good man um, it's by uh, Justin McConnell and I must say, Justin, good for you because you knocked it out of the fucking park with this movie. I I didn't really know what to expect from this movie. Um, I don't even know if I'd classify this as a horror movie, to be honest with you. Um, but don't let that scare you uh, if you're a horror fan because uh, tell me or uh, trust me. Like, I guess this could fit into the horror genre, but man, oh man, it's it's just a fucking good all around movie. It's got a very uh, basic synopsis too. A murderous shapeshifter sets out on a blood-soaked mission uh, to make things right with the woman he loves. Well, okay, so that's a very simple premise, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But um, it, it, it kind of, well, okay, I'll, I'll just give you the basic breakdown. So I guess you can call him a shapeshifter. I wouldn't, there's reference to skinwalkers in this, in this movie as well, which I would kind of, we don't really know what he is. Um, I guess you could call him a shapeshifter or a skinwalker, but there's no true explanation explanation as to what it really is. But um, in the in the movie, his main name is Drew, and um, I mean you meet him many many times because he takes on the form of many many people. But uh, throughout the the movie, it's narrated by Drew, which is I guess is his original name. And he kind of gives you the breakdown of his life story and, and why he's doing what he's doing and the stuff that he deals with. And I mean, basically, we pick it up around Christmas time. And I, I guess his, his goal now is to kind of get to a point where he can tell. Well, he has two loves in his life, he admits. Uh, one is his mother, and then the other is this uh, Julie Wilson lady who he was married to and had a, a kid and then the child died I think around the age of three um, and then he ended up leaving now again I don't want to give spoilers away so but basically he's just trying to I guess make things right with, with Julia um, he, he I guess he wants to put himself in a position where he can eventually tell her as to what's going on and all this sort of stuff again no spoilers um, but again, I mean, it says right in the synopsis, he's a shapeshifter or a skinwalker or whatever you want to call him. So he gives a breakdown of his life and every time he takes on the form of a person, um, we find out through the movie that it speeds up. Like, so he has to, I, he gave an example in the movie, uh, back, um, like he said, the first time I believe he shapeshifted was when he was 12. So, I mean, he went 12 years there, and then um, obviously they give reference to when uh, Ju Julie, you know, she, she talks about it at the bar, um, you know, uh, how her son died and stuff, but they gave the age of three, so, and this Drew entity was, was married to this woman uh, for at least three years then, because they, they were married and had a three-year-old kid, so basically what the, what the movie's trying to show you is that as time goes on, um, his lifespan is getting shorter and shorter in between each body he takes. Uh, it's pretty cool too how he, uh, you know, he gives examples of what kind of slows it down or makes it feel better. Like he has to do a lot of cocaine, um, you know, uh, different types of medication and, and stuff like that. So, and uh, yeah, throughout the whole movie, it's it's like, you know. He, he, when the movie starts, you, you kind of feel sorry for the people that, like, the lives he's taking. 
so that he can survive. Um, you know, because he does, he doesn't really discriminate. <laughs> he goes after men and women and, you know, people with families and all sorts of stuff. Do you know what I mean? But he's, it's not done, like, I, it's not done in a vicious way. It's just for him to survive. But by the end of the movie, you feel sorry for him. Um, and I don't, again, I don't want to say why because it's, it's, I don't want to give spoilers. So maybe I've already said too much. I don't know. But I'll tell you, man, this, this movie is fucking great. And this is a prime example of I, I want to call this a lower budgeted movie, but I mean the the effects are great. Uh, the, it's mostly all practical, and I mean it's 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 a fucking good movie, man. Like it's acted. When you, I tell you, when you have a good story, which this is, and you have great actors and actresses in your movie, I mean, you can't beat that, man. Like it's just, and this movie just flourishes. It's fucking great. Uh, Lori Burke, uh, Jack Foley, who has the best fucking hair and beard combo I've ever seen. This guy is, like, fantastic looking. Good for you. Uh, Rachel Van Dunzer, uh, Steve Kassan. Uh, actually, the voice of Drew is done by Bill Oberts, Jr. I take people. Their voice, their, their shape, their look, their memories, their hopes and dreams. Everything that makes somebody who they are, I take it. And I keep it. But the real cool thing, too, is this is a Canadian movie or filmed in Canada. It was filmed just down the road from me in Toronto. So, I don't know, man. I recommend this movie to everybody. Um, I, I, like, again, I did the, uh, a trailer review for it in July. And then I, I kind of forgot about it just because I do watch a lot of movies. But, man, oh, man, when this thing popped up in my feed and I got a chance to watch it, I, in fact, I'm probably going to watch this again. It's so good because I, I really do want to do a discussion about this movie and you know talk about it because it is that fucking good so anyways you can get it now uh it's on video on demand so whatever platform you you watch movies on uh, just just go to it but do not steer clear of this movie um it is like it's got a 92 percent on rotten tomatoes i don't know how imbd it only has like a five or a six on imbd like i don't i don't know what the fuck is up with imbd lately because i've seen some movies and I've seen actually one of my buddies uh, Todd Jenkins has his movie on there Cherokee Creek and like I don't know what it is with all these assholes like giving it one stars and trying to vote it down like I don't know what you bozos are trying to do but so how this thing only has like a five and a half on IMBD I, I it, it's just because these assholes on the internet come along and just try and vote it down like a bunch of fucking <laughs> assholes so but Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, the critics' reviews are 92%, and, like, I'm a fan, not a critic, and I'm, I'm giving this easily, easily an eight, eight and a half as far as movies. Um, yeah, I've got a couple stinkers coming up um, in the next couple of days that I've watched, and I thought, oh, God, is this how my 2019 is going to be? The last couple of movies I've watched have just been fucking terrible, <laughs> you know what I mean, but... I mean, this this has made everything right for right now anyways. It was a fucking good movie. So anyways, okay, I'm rambling. Um, definitely check this movie out. Um, if, yeah, video on demand. Hopefully it comes in Netflix and, and Shudder and all those other platforms as well. But uh, anyways, movie's called Life Changer. Do not pass this movie by. It is that fucking good. Uh, let me know what you think too if you have seen it. And uh, yeah, or if you watch this review and then you watch it, let me know what you think of this movie because it is definitely a... Uh, a movie that's up for for some discussion afterwards so anyways guys that's it life changer it's fucking awesome and until next time stay scared <laughs>